Welcome back. Now, even though South Dakota didn't win the Summit League tournament, there was still a sense USD was going to go to the big dance. Now, they did, but the Oats, along with everyone else, found out who's in the field a couple hours earlier than expected when ESPN accidentally released the bracket on their live programming. Now, folks, no matter how you figured it out or when you did, the Oats are in the big dance. South Dakota is the first Summit League program to receive an at-large bid, and this is just the second time the Yotes are dancing, with the first coming back in 2014. Now, South Dakota squares off with ACC foe Clemson, who finished sixth in the regular season conference standings, and the Yotes, well, they're ranked in the top 25 at some points during this season, and the Tigers, well, they haven't fared too well against ranked teams, going 2-7 and seven against AP top 25 teams. Now, it obviously doesn't matter who the Yotes were scurring off against, because just being named to the tournament is an amazing experience. I think all of us were kind of just in awe that it was happening this way. Um, I don't think it's ever happened this way before, but it's just as exciting. It's been a season of first for us in a lot of ways, and now to have this opportunity is something that is, is very, very special to our young ladies, to our program, to our university. And that's because it's, it's, this is what young ladies come to, to college to be a part of, is the big dance. It's truly indescribable, and it's really honestly just kind of starting to sink in. You know, this day had a lot of a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement, um, and now all of a sudden it's it's becoming real. Like we we made the NCAA tournament.